everyone welcome to hopeful turns in today's video i'll be sharing with you the pattern for this crochet sunburst granny square now here i have used some sunflower colors to make it as a sunflower granny square but you can use any colors and it will look absolutely beautiful now this is a very basic square pattern and you can adapt this square pattern in any of your projects so you can use them to make a blanket or a cushion cover maybe you can even use it in tote bags so i am planning to make a two three projects with this basic square pattern so as and when i upload it i'll update in the description box so let's see the supplies and then we'll head over to the pattern so for this here i have used four colors all the colors are uh, that I've used is DK weight yarn and with that I have used a size 4.5 mm crochet hook now you can use any weight yarn for this square just make sure to use the recommended hook size if you are using a thicker weight say a worsted weight or an uh, or a bulky weight you might have to use a larger hook size and your uh, square will turn up to be a bit bigger if you use a thinner weight yarn your square will be smaller than this okay so based on the yarn and the hook the size of the square will change now a small suggestion when you are using the colors try to use the same weight and same type so that the square is quite even okay now apart from the yarn and the hook you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to weave in all the loose ends so these are the supplies that you would require now the stitch here, the uh, square pattern here, we'll be using almost all of the basic stitches in crochet except for the single crochet and I'll be showing you how to do all the stitches uh, in this tutorial but if you are someone who feels the need to have some more help with the basic stitches then you can click on the link that is coming up here, it will take you through all the basic stitches. Okay, now let's just get into the tutorial. So we'll start this with a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you take your yarn loop it around your finger like an X once you have that you can take this loop out and pull your working yarn through this loop here like this so this here is your slip knot I'll just attach my hook here and we can start this by making five chain stitch chain five one two three four and five okay so here we have got a five chain stitch next we'll make a slip stitch into the very first chain stitch so to make a slip stitch just insert your hook into the very first stitch here and then pull your working yarn through these two loops so just pull your working yarn through the two loops and if you see we have got a small circle here and we'll be working in the center of the circle we'll start round one so for round one we are going to start with three chain stitch one two and three and this three chain stitch will be treated as a double crochet now apart from this I'm going to make 15 double crochet into the center of the circle so to make a double crochet you have to yarn over first insert your hook into the center of the circle pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two loops yarn over pull to the next two loops so this here is my first double crochet we'll do that again so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two so this is my second double crochet like that i'm going to make a total of 15 double crochet for round one we also have a chain three which is considered as a double crochet so in total for your round one you will have chain three and 15 double crochet making it a total of 16 double crochets all right and when you're doing a double crochet if you find that there is not enough gap to put all the stitches what you can do is you can just move the stitches to one side so if you see you just have to push it to a side you will get the space so like that I'll just complete my 15 double crochet and I'll join you at the end of round one so you make a total of 15 double crochets so here I have completed my 15 double crochet we'll just give this a count so we'll start from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay and apart from that we have this three chain stitch the starting so we have three chain stitch and 15 double crochet making it a total of 16 double crochet for round one 
now in order to finish this round there are two ways one is to just slip stitch it so if you see we have one two three this is the third chain so you can just insert your hook into the third chain and slip stitch so that is one way i'll just show you so this is the easiest way just insert your hook into the third stitch here and you can slip stitch like this and you can cut off your yarn but it just doesn't it just doesn't give a very clean look to it so i'll just show you another method you can choose anything that you want so anything will work fine i'll just show you a cleaner way to finish off this with an invisible finish so this was my very last double crochet 15th one i'll just cut my yarn here first okay so i've cut my yarn and i'm going to pull this off now we are going to do the invisible finish so i'll just use my yarn needle and then we will do it okay so what we'll do is uh, we will just take the yarn needle from the very first double crochet we have got a chain three here just ignore that and this here is your first double crochet here so i'm going to take my yarn needle from here like this all right and then i'll bring my yarn needle like to the front and only through the back loop of our very last double crochet so this is our very last double crochet if you see so i'm going to take it through just the back loop here and take it out and if you see we, when you when we pull this here this creates a fake double crochet stitch so this here becomes our very last stitch here okay so just pull on it so that it is even with respect to the other stitches all right and once you have that you can just hide in the loose ends so that will create a fake stitch and you have 16 complete double crochet you definitely can use a slip stitch to join to the last stitch but it just uh, is not very clean so that is why i prefer this so i'm just going to hide in the loose ends similarly you can hide in this end also i'll just come back through a couple of stitches so that takes care of the loose ends and i'm just going to cut my yarn here okay so if you see our first round is done if you want you can just pull on this end to close the gap a bit okay so here we have got a round one it has 16 double crochets in total you can just give it a count so this is where we created the fake stitch here so if i have to count from here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so here we have got 16 double crochet in round two we are going to make 16 puff stitches so in all the 16 double crochet we'll make 16 puff stitch so we'll start with the next color so i have got my new color here and i'll show you two different ways how i like to attach my yarn now if you know of some other method that works for you you can just go ahead and attach your yarn so the first method i'll show in this round the next round i'll show the second method okay so what i'll do is i'll insert my hook through any of the stitches here and i'll just pull the new color through this stitch here and i like to knot this down just knot it so that it stays in place okay next what we do is through the same stitch where we have knotted this down i'll pull the yarn through okay and then make two chain stitch one and two so our new yarn is attached i'll bring this yarn through this to this side so that i can work over it i don't have to weave it in later and now we'll start the puff stitch so what we'll do is we will yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch where we had uh, knotted it down and pull up a loop and when you pull it pull it a little bit higher so this is the first pull i'll again do that yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch and pull up a loop this is the second pull again once more yarn over insert your hook and pull up a loop so we have three times pulled up the loop and if you count you have one two three four five six and seven seven loops on your hook here now what you'll do is we will bring the working yarn through all the loops here including the last one and then make 
one chain stitch chain one so this is one puff stitch and we do that again so into your next stitch here we have to yarn over and pull it up three times so yarn over first insert your hook and pull up a loop okay so this is the first pull and pull it up a little bit higher again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop this is the second time yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop this is the third time you will have a total of seven loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all the loops like this and then chain one so this is my second puff stitch like that i'll make a total of 16 puff stitch for round two remember we had 16 double crochet in all the double crochet we are going to do puff stitch so i'll do that again so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop first time yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop this is the second time again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop third time all right and then yarn over and pull through all the loops and then chain one so we have got three i'll complete this and i'll join you at the end of this round and i should have a total of 16 puff stitches all right so here I'm almost at the end of this round. I have 15 puff stitches made. I'll do the la very last one with you. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop once. This is my second time and this is third time. Okay, so three times I have pulled this up. Yarn over, pull through all the stitches and then chain one. Okay, so here I've got my 16 puff stitches. Now, if you see, the first one is a little bit different uh, than the rest because we had started with chain two. So it's a little bit thicker. So what we want to do is we want to just squish this off. So what we'll do is uh, in order to finish off this round into this chain one space here, we will make a slip stitch. So go ahead and make a slip stitch into the chain one space like this. So the first puff stitch gets squished and you have even looking 16 puff stitches okay at this point you can just cut your yarn here and i'm just going to take this out so that it just gets knotted down okay so round two is done we will move on to round three so we'll start round three and this time i'm using a yellow color for it and if you see here for round two, you have 16 puff stitches and in between 16 puff stitches, you have 16 chain one spaces. So for round three, we'll be working in the chain one space. Now I'll attach the new color here and uh, you can attach it any way. So what you'll do is in any one of the chain space, we can just go ahead. You can knot it down just like we did for round two or else what you can do is just take your yarn through the chain one space like this and then make two chain stitch chain two one two this is another way of attaching your yarn or what you can do is you, you can just knot this down and make two chain stitch that is also totally fine now we will be making three double crochet but we'll be doing incomplete three double crochet we'll start like a double crochet so you'll yarn over insert your hook and pull up a loop okay now you have three loops, yarn over, pull to the first two loop. You are not completing the last part of your double crochet. Keep the keep these two like this. Again you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull to the first two loops and stop. So this is a second incomplete double crochet. We will do one more, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull pull through the first two loops now you have a total of four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all the four and then make two chain stitch one and two so this is uh, four half double crochet together the chain two actually represents a double crochet and then we had made three so in effect we have put four double crochets together we'll do that so in every stitch, uh, in every chain one space from here, we are going to do four half, uh, double crochets together. So we'll do that. So after making chain two, you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull to the first two. You have two loops, keep it there. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull to the first two and stop. So we have put two, we have to put two more. We have to do four 
double crochets together so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two loops only again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two loops only now if you see we have one two three four four half double crochets and then one chain so in total we have five loops you yarn over and pull through all the five loops and chain two one and two and this is what we'll be repeating we'll do again so into the next chain one space we will make the next double crochet four together stitch so we'll do that so yarn over insert your hook through this chain one space here and pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops only like this and stop so we have made two we have to make four so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two loop only again one more yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through just the first two loops only so now you have made a total of four double crochets half incomplete so in total we have one two three four five five loops yarn over pull through all the five loops and chain two one two and like that you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern so in every chain one space you will be making four double crochet two together stitch okay uh, we'll do that one last time I'll just come do that along with you so I'm going to do four double crochets incomplete this is one this is my second one again this is my third double crochet incomplete one again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through only the first two you'll have a total of five loops yarn over pull through all of it and chain two one two so repeat this till you have a total of 16 of these okay so i'll just join you at the end of this round so here i'm almost at the end of this round i have got my 16 sets of these four uh, double crochet together so this is my very last stitch here after that I have to make two chain stitch all right and now to finish off this what we'll do is we'll slip stitch into the chain two spaces that we have put okay so into the first chain two space here just go ahead and slip stitch to join so that will finish off this round you can cut your yarn off and we will start with the next round so this is the end of round three and so far we still have a circle and the last round is where we are going to make this into a square so we'll start so for the last round here i'm going to use a white color yarn and in this round we'll be working in the chain two spaces only so you can attach your yarn the way you prefer you can attach here or any other place i'll just start with some other stitch here so into the chain two space you can attach your yarn so i'm just going to knot this down i just find that it is more secure when compared to the other method okay so i've just knotted this down and i'll just insert my hook through the chain two space and pull my yarn out like this and this time i'm going to start with four chain stitch chain four one two three and four and then in the chain two space i'm going to make two triple crochets so for a triple crochet you have to yarn over two times okay insert your hook and then pull up a loop you will have four loops yarn over pull to the first two loops yarn over pull to the next two and then yarn over pull to the last two so this here is my first triple crochet i'll make one more triple crochet so you have to yarn over two times insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two yarn over pull to the last two so here i've made two triple crochet and the chain four here will be treated as a triple crochet so in effect we have a cluster of three triple crochets all right once this is done go to your next stitch here this one the next chain two space and this time we are going to make three double crochets okay so for a double crochet you yarn over once only insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the last two so this is one we have to make a total of three so this is my second double crochet and then one more 
so this is my third double crochet so here we have got a cluster which has three double crochet in the next chain two space we'll make three half double crochet so for a half double crochet you have to yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so that is your half double crochet this is one this here is my second half double crochet and one more so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull through all the three so here we have got a cluster of three half double crochet so we have three triple crochets three double crochet three half double crochet in the next chain two space we are going to put three double crochets so yarn over and make your double crochet this is one this here is my second double crochet and one more three so here i have made a cluster of three double crochets once this is done in the next chain two space make three triple crochet so we'll do that for a triple crochet we will yarn over two times insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pulls the first two then the next two and then the last two okay so here we have a triple crochet i'm going to make two more triple crochet here so this here is my second triple crochet two and one more three okay so here i have got a set of three triple crochet now this place we are going to make it into a corner stitch so whenever we do a set of three triple crochet we'll turn it into a corner so what we'll do is after making three triple crochet make two chain stitch one two and then in the same space make three more triple crochet so i'm going to put three more triple crochet into the same space so this is my first triple crochet again yarn over two times make your second triple crochet this is two and one more three all right so this here is my third triple crochet and this is my corner stitch here so for a corner you will make three triple crochet two chain stitch and three triple crochet and we are going to repeat this i'll just explain it to you in a minute uh, so if you see here this is one side so this corner is only half completed we have to finish it off so when we come back we we'll complete this corner this is one side uh, so we have made a corner and we'll repeat it i'll just explain in a minute so once you complete your corner that is triple crochet chain two and triple crochet in the next chain two space make a double crochet so put three double crochet one two and three so we have made a cluster of three double crochet in the next chain two space make three half double crochet so i'm going to make three half double crochet this is one this here is my second half double crochet and here is my third half double crochet okay so we have put three half double crochets three half double crochet in the next space put three double crochet so i'm going to put three double crochet this is one this here is my second double crochet and one more three okay so here i've got three double crochet and here we are going to make the corner stitch all right so for a corner we will make three triple crochet so make three triple crochet you have to yarn over two times insert your hook pull up a loop and then complete your triple crochet so this is one i have to make a total of three so this is my second triple crochet and one more so here is my third triple crochet okay so here i have got three triple crochet since this is going to be made into a corner once you make three triple crochet you make chain two one two and then go back into the same space and make three more triple crochet so i'm going to go ahead and make another set of triple crochet so that will complete your corner so for a corner you will make three triple crochet chain two and three triple crochet so this here is my last triple crochet like this so if you see this is our second corner so we have made three triple crochet chain two and three triple crochet and you just have to repeat the same pattern so once you make a corner 
you will make a double crochet half double crochet and double crochet then a corner so that is what we are going to repeat so this corner is made in the next stitch I'm going to put three double crochet so this is one here again a double crochet two and three okay so I've made a cluster of three double crochet in the next space make half double crochet so for half double crochet you just have to yarn over insert your hook pull your hook through all the three loops so this is one this here is my second half double crochet and one more three so I've got three half double crochet then in the next stitch make three double crochets so one here is my second one two and three so here I've completed my cluster of three double crochet now here we are going to make a corner stitch so for a corner stitch you make three triple crochet chain two and three triple crochet so I'm going to put a set of three triple crochet first one two and one more three okay so here I've got my three triple crochet I'm going to put chain two and then in the same space I'm going to make three more triple crochet so this is one another one two and one more triple crochet so that will complete your corner So that completes the third corner so if you see we have three corners completed just a second so here we have the first corner second corner and the third corner we have just one last side to be done okay so we'll do that so the corner is done into the next chain uh, two space we will put a cluster of three double crochet one two and one more three so we have put three double crochet then we'll put three half double crochet so we have to put three half double crochet one this is my second one and one more half double crochet all right so here is my set of three half double crochet in the next set make three double crochets so I'm just going to make three double crochet one two and three right so our three double crochet is done next if you see we have reached the corner here now for a corner you can see that this is an incomplete corner so what we'll do is we will start with three triple crochet here so make your three triple crochet one this here is my second triple crochet two and I'll put one more triple crochet so yarn over two times and make your third triple crochet so as we were doing in all the previous cases for a corner stitch we have to make three triple crochet chain two and three triple crochet so here i have three triple crochet set this was already made now once you make three triple crochet make chain two one two and then go back into the fourth chain so you can see one two three four so this here is your fourth chain so into the fourth chain you go ahead and slip stitch to join so that will complete your corner like this okay so this is done you can just cut your yarn here and our square is ready so just pull out your yarn like this you can see our square is ready you just have to hide in the tail I'll just hide it in and then show you so here I have hidden in all the loose ends and our granny square is ready. So yeah, that was a tutorial on how to do the sunburst sunflower granny square. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed making it. Now, if you liked it, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. See you in another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.